Hello, mystery and crime writers. Uh, this is a tarot energy reading for what you might want to pay attention to for your story or your work in progress for January of 2024. Um, I'm Chris. I am a tarot reader who, uh, with a specialized practice designed to uh, kick writer's block in the butt, uh, help you stay creatively engaged and to work with your project, not on your project. Now, if you're not writing a crime or a mystery story, uh, don't worry, um, I have uh, I have or will be posting 10 to 12 other videos, each with a different genre. So be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me uh, to know, be the first to know when those get posted. Um, so first of all, I want to let you guys know I think you guys are being too hard on yourself. Um, there is a lot of earth energy here, but there's a lot of passion that wants to come out. So... Um, I think that what you're getting stuck on is so there's an inner part of you that wants to let go of something that you are um so I have the king of let me rewind I have the king of pentacles and he's reversed and the king of pentacles is usually the safest person in the entire deck he um knows where his money's going he doesn't want to go out of his comfort zone all that kind of stuff um on top of him, though, I have the uh, Knight of Swords, which is something, it's, he's the doer. He likes to talk, he, knights are the doers of the deck. And so, because they're kind of facing the same direction with how this deck is done, um, it's almost like you have a post stuck in the ground. But, alternatively, you do have a page of swords that wants to kind of explore something new. You're not quite sure what it is, but you're kind of scared to. Um, and there's a lot of emperor energy going on here. And the emperor is like, he's very strict. He makes the rules. Um, he's very protective. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind here. And that's what I, I, I think that's, you need to kind of let some of that go. You're being too hard on yourself and you're possibly too grounded, but there's a lot of fire that wants to come out. Uh, next, um, according to my notes here, you are trying to reach for something new but you're not taking a, a look at what you've got. Probably something with a clue. Um, you're not t you're you're not taking a step back or like acknowledging what you've already written to make sure that something in the future is going to make sense. Is what it seems like. Um, so you slow down a little bit. Uh, maybe do your own board of you know like those string boards that they do for like uh, detective stuff. I, I take a minute to kind of go through that and see where all your clues are lining up and you might find something that you that where that page is trying to talk to you a little bit uh lastly i'm going to say is um yes sorry i just took my notes freak me out a second um the last thing you need to remember is nobody's gonna see take a look at what this page is trying to tell you it could be a new idea it could be a new clue it could be a new character um but just remember that nobody's going to see it. Um, I've got the tower here, and it's reversed, so I kind of feel like you're, you writers are thinking that if you make this change, it just destroys the whole project. Copy the file, run with it with the new file, and if it doesn't work, delete it. No one needs to see it. Um, it's, it's one of the, I also, on top of that uh, tower card, I have the six of wands reverse so six of wands is usually about recognition getting recognized but if you delete it no one's gonna see it just see what that page wants just explore it and just go from there um some other cues you might want to pay attention to is i got a microphone um not sure what that means for your project um along with this emperor energy this might not be with your story this probably is for you i got letting go um, you might want to let something go. Maybe when you're reassessing, like, what you've created with that string board that I was talking about, um, you probably might need to let something go in order for that new page idea to flourish. Um, and the last thing I hear, card I have here, is list the political factions of your world. What does each stand for? What do they disagree on? How much power does each have? What is each up to in secret? So that might be just something to think about um, for your project. Um, numbers you might want to pay attention to. So there are a little bit of some different things to pay attention to here. Um, the number four, two, one, four, 
eight, seven, eight, sixteen, the number eight, or the number eleven, and number six. Now, the reason why I'm saying eight or eleven is because it depends on which card you're going for. In the tarot, there is a card called there are two cards called strength and justice. And I have a deck here. Justice is number eleven, but in the deck the actual that I'm actually using. Uh, or I'm sorry, the astrology deck that I'm using is um, is they have justice as number eleven, and in the actual deck that I'm using, it's uh, justice is, is number eight. So if you're gonna go, it depends on which one you want to go with. But if you add all those cards up, you get sixty-four, and then if you put six plus four is ten. Ten plus one equals I'm sorry. Uh, if you separate ten, it's one plus zero equals one, and that's the magician. Now if you want to go with number eleven, uh, that gives you sixty-seven which is gonna give you the number 13, which is death, but one plus three equals four, and four is the emperor. Now, I'm kind of leaning more toward that one because the card at the bottom of the deck was the emperor card. And like I said, the emperor is like the father figure. He is protective. He uh, makes the rules. He um, wants to make sure everything's safe. He doesn't want to break the rules, all that kind of stuff. He wants to make sure everything's protected. Um, you have um the the big planet that seems to be coming out here is mars um there so in gender fluidity with um tarot usually uh there's no real men versus women or male versus female energy it's more energy it's more energetic um in this deck there are two male represent two male presenting people and one uh, one girl who is the page and then there are four other figures that are just stick figures and they don't show if they are a man or woman now they all do have sign sort of short hair so you could go um, kind of male presenting in that way however I'm gonna say that because uh, women do cut their hair short and some of them do wear pants kind of a thing oh I guess there is one that's kind of wearing a dress I guess that is kind of true so I take one out we'll put one female We'll go that way. Um, so it's actually kind of like, it's a little bit evened out. You got two men, two women, and two non-conformative people. So this is something to pay attention to there. Um, the colors you might want to pay attention to are purple and blue. And then they kind of go into a red-orange. Um, purple and blue are kind of up at the very top. I am surprised green's not coming out, but um, it's more, yeah, purple and blue are up at the top, and then as you get further down into the spread, it gets more red, orangey, fiery, which I'm very surprised about that as well, only because um, it seems that you have, there are a lot, of, there's the fire element is a lot more um, represented throughout these with uh, the major arcana cards that are here, but other than that, like, it's, they're all kind of evened out. Um, as for the reversal versus non-reversal, um, you have an even number of, you're evened out. Um, you've got a reversed, 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 reversed. So that's out of 10 cards, you got five and five. So you're kind of evened out. So again, I think you're kind of being too hard on yourself. And with that Knight of Swords and that Page of Swords, I kind of think you're being split into two directions, but because that uh, King of Pentacles is kind of like you're, you're that King of Pentacles you want to follow that page but because that Knight of Swords has his sword stuck on the ground it just kind of seems like you're stuck and you don't want to see what that uh, page is trying to tell you um, I think that's really all I have for you this time um, so that's yeah so that's all I really have for the creative and or I'm sorry for the crime and mystery writers for January of 2024 uh, please comment below if you found this helpful or not and I'm open to suggestions on how to make this uh, better to speed up your creativity and your writing quality uh, if you want to take this a little bit further I've started a patreon where I'm giving away all sorts of writing uh, creative writing prompts to get those creative juices flowing uh, in full transpa <laughs> in full transparency, uh, Patreon and, and uh, Discord are new platforms for me, so I'm still trying to figure out what works. And so I'm uh, I'm open to suggestions to see how those tiers will actually benefit you um, in your writing, in your writing journey, in your writing projects. 
Uh, so remember to like, follow, subscribe, and share to anyone who might find this video interesting, and I'll see you in the next one.